Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the iPhone 5S. Now, I finally got this shit. Shout out to Best Buy because I ordered this about a month ago. I waited all that time and they sent me the white one. So I had to send it back because I wanted the gold joint. So we finally got the gold one on deck. So let's take a look at it and see what it is. Now, y'all know with any other product I get, I like a nice box. And if you ever bought anything from Apple, you know you get a nice box and a nice sleek presentation. So I'm definitely feeling that. Nice classy look. If you take a look at the back of the box, you can see I went with the 16 gig version this time. Now, for all y'all cats that follow my channel, y'all know with my other iPhone 5, I had the 64 gig. Look, that was kind of a waste of money for me because I got a whole bunch of iPods, got a whole bunch of other phones and cloud storage and all that. So that was kind of a waste. So I decided to save a couple of dollars and just go with the 16 gig version because I don't really even use my iPhone that much. And this one is running on Verizon. All right, so you can pause that, read it for yourself. This basically shows you everything that you get inside the box. All right, so let's open it up and take a look. Inside, you get the actual phone. Let's take that out. Fellas, say it with me. The usual books and shit. And of course, with Apple, you get the stickers. So you stick these. All, 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 all my dudes who got those uh, co-workers who straight hardcore Android heads, this is what you're going to stick on their desk. All right, so I, I like to save these for my dudes who hate Apple. I take these and stick them, stick them on their desk or stick them on the side of their car or whatever. And when I say fellas, I mean ladies too. All right, just let's be clear with that. Whenever y'all hear me say fellas, I mean ladies too. All right, so ladies, stick this on your boyfriend's car because you know he's a hardcore Android head. You know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do. What else? Inside now, you get your lightning adapter. Plug to plug it in the wall and you get some nice Apple headphones now I'm not gonna turn this into a comparison video everybody knows I, I kind of like the Samsung headphones better but you know whatever they both pretty good especially for some free headphones that you know come with the phone but when you put when you get the iPhone it's just a better presentation this just looks a lot better gives you this nice case for you to store them in you know what I'm saying so this this is a better presentation so I'm definitely feeling that. Now, as far as quality in the headphones, meh. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they, they serve the purpose. You know what I'm saying? These are perfect for going to the gym, perfect for sitting on the train and all that. But if you're heavy into music and all that, these ain't nothing but some free headphones. All right? So that's what you get inside the box. Now let's take a look at the actual phone. Let's peel this off. All right, fellas, ladies, the gold iPhone 5S. Now... Y'all know I'm not, I don't really get into specs and all that, but since this is an unboxing video, let's just go through some of the specs real quick. First off, let's talk about the display. You got the big, giant, four-inch... <laughs> I know, I'm trolling y'all. The big, giant, four-inch display. All right, big, giant, non-HD, four-inch display. All right, shout out to all my Android heads. Y'all get that joke. But anyway, um, like I said, I'm, I'm just fucking around, but for real. You get the four-inch display... It's a 640 by 1136 retina display. If you don't know what that means, all that basically means is that it's a, a nice, beautiful display. Now, is it the best display on the market? No. But it's a nice, you know, nice crystal clear display. Beautiful display. All right. Now, this, um, now for all y'all tech heads and all that, it's 326 PPI. Like I said, you know, don't get too involved with all that pixels and all that. Basically, just what the, you know. What you want to know is how does the screen look? Does it look good? And the answer is yes. The screen looks good. In direct sunlight, you can see the screen, so it, it's a good look. That's why I said I don't really get too heavy with all those, um, you know, all them tech spec mumbo jumbo. All right. What else? Since it's unboxing, though, we'll, we'll keep it moving with a couple more specs. As far as the processor, you got the A7. 1.7 dual core processor now I know what y'all saying oh you know all the new phones coming out is quad core you know octa core and all that like I said don't get too involved with all that the bottom line is is the phone fast and does it work yes because I don't care if a phone look at how um remember the old galaxy notes the international one remember when it came out with the octa core processor and all that this shit was still lagging this shit was still you know bugs here and there so don't get involved with all that stuff the bottom line is it's a nice smooth processor all right, and you got the M7 co-processor, 
with the um like I said the A7. What is all those M7 A7? What does all that mean? Who knows? If you don't work for Apple, then you really don't know. They could be telling you anything. The bottom line is it works and it works smooth. Battery wise, you got a 1,560 milliamp battery, which um you know seems kind of small nowadays with all these um other phones coming out with 2,000 3,000 milliamps, but the phone itself ain't that big and it doesn't run that much power, so you know 1,500. 1,560 milliamp battery pretty much serves its purpose. Like I, I you know, I, I use my iPhone sparingly and all that, but I never have my iPhone die on me yet. You know what I'm saying? So the battery is not bad. Let's take a look around the actual device now. If you look on the side, you got your vibrate, you know, power vibrate switch. You got your volume up and down. Yes, volume, not volume, volume. That's how I say it in the hood. We say volume. Okay, we don't say volume. All right, so let's just be clear about that. <laughs> Look at the bottom of the phone. You got your speakers. You got your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. You got your lightning adapter. On the other side, you got the spot for your SIM. Good luck taking that thing on and off. On the top, you got your power button. On the back, you got your 8 megapixel camera with the LED flash. This shoots uh, 1080 HD video. Got the nice gold color. Now the light in the head is kind of funny, so I don't know if you could really get the full effect, but you know, you got the got the gold tone back. On the front, you got your 1.2 megapixel camera that shoots 720 for FaceTime videos and you know, all your cats that be doing the selfies and all that. You, you know, you get a good couple of selfies with the 1.2 megapixel camera. It ain't the best in the world, but it does the job. The phone itself has one gigabytes of RAM on it. I know what y'all saying, like all the Note 3 and everything got 3 gigs of RAM and all that. Look, the iPhone, with the ecosystem that Apple runs, 1 gigabyte of RAM is good enough. Because everything is optimized and everything runs smooth. So, don't, don't like I said, don't crunch the numbers. You know what I'm saying? And the new iPhone is running iOS 7. Big differences on iOS 7. You got your drop-down menu. Looks different. The swipe menu looks a little bit different from the front. You know, so like I said, when I do when I do the real review, we'll get into all of the features and all that. This is just an unboxing, so we're not gonna get too heavy with that. And the main feature that I that I forgot to mention right now, because I was kind of saving that for the end on the front of the phone, is the new button. So now you got the fingerprint scanner. Now, look, that's the main difference, because a lot of people are gonna say, what's the difference between the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 5S? What does the S mean? Well, <laughs> If you ask anybody who has Android phones, they'll tell you the S stands for same or similar. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it's basically the same. You know what I'm saying? But now you got the fingerprint scanner. Now, look, you already seen a thousand videos of how they set it up. You know, all you got to do is keep tapping your finger and, you know, to set it up and all that. I don't, I'm not going to do that because you've already seen that a million times. The question that you want to know is, does it work or not? And the answer is, yes, it works. Let me turn it on for you real quick. Now, I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. I'm very impressed on how it works. Now, I've seen all the videos. I've seen people, you know, doing it a whole, a whole bunch of times. I've seen, I even see people on the street doing it and all that. But I thought that, you know, if you got a big thumb like me and, you know, you say I got injuries and all that, my thumb is all effed up. You know what I'm saying? I thought that sometimes when you go to turn it on, it's going to not read. You're going to have to keep, you know, fumbling around. Then you're better off just putting in the passcode. But like I said, I'm very impressed. The shit works pretty good. I haven't had I haven't had to do it more, you know more than once. I haven't had to put my thumb on it more than once yet. Now, the only time that it didn't recognize is like right now I'm over here bubbling sweat in this office, but sometimes if your finger's a little bit moist, then it won't recognize. But fellas, the shit works flawlessly. So I'm definitely feeling that. So that's a big feature with the iPhone 5S, the fingerprint scanner. Now, a lot of my hardcore cats out there, you know all y'all conspiracy theorists and all that Y'all saying, oh, you know, I don't like the fingerprint scanner because, you know, the feds getting your fingerprints and all that. Look, I'm not a criminal, so I don't really care about the feds having my fingerprints. It ain't, you know, that ain't nothing new. My, my shit is already in the system, which, you know, most of y'all prints is probably in the system already. But if you're some kind of big criminal, you know, drug lord and all that, then you don't really want to be dealing with iPhones or no cell phones, you know, period. But to the average person, like I said, don't get too you know, involved with all that, fingerprints going to, you know, to the government and all that. If you're not a criminal, then who cares? 
The fingerprint scanner works perfectly and it cuts out the need for having to keep putting in your password. Even, you know, when you go to iTunes and you go to the app store and you want to download something, you got to keep putting that annoying password in the, and all that. Now when you want to buy something, all you got to do is fingerprint scan it and you're good. And you can set a whole bunch of different fingers up. All right, so now all my dudes, leave your phone, <laughs> you leave your phone at, on the table at night. You don't got to worry about your shorty getting up and going through your joint. Unless you know your code and all that, but you know, whatever. That's, um, look, see, that was the first time. Now, look, I, it didn't read because I just noticed I had my thumb on the side. You see? Now, I notice every time if you put your thumb the way it's supposed to go, works flawlessly. So I'm, I'm really, really impressed with that fingerprint scanner. I, I got to say, that's, that's probably the biggest feature that uh, I'm really digging right now. But as far as overall, how do I feel about this phone overall coming out the box on a scale of 1 to 10? Well, I'm going to give it a 10 because, you know, it's an iPhone and it does exactly what it's supposed to do. Now, look, if you don't like Apple and you don't like iOS and all of that, then, um, you know, you're going to find 100 things to complain about this phone as far as the screen being too small and it's not HD and blah, 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 the speakers on the bottom. But, you know, you're going to find a whole bunch of stuff to complain about. But dudes that like Apple and like iOS and like the ecosystem, this phone is a go. Now, one thing I will say, though, that, that I'm kind of disappointed I'll just make this real quick. All of y'all cats who had the Note 2 and then you got a Note 3, remember the day you had your Note 2 and you put it down and you picked up the Note 3? You immediately felt the difference. Immediately. You know, there's no two ways about it. You knew if you had a Note 2 in your left hand and a Note 3 in your right hand, you knew the difference. You see what I'm saying? When you pick up a Note 3, it's faster, it's smoother, the phone is bigger, it looks different, new S Pen. You know, everything about it is just beefed up. It just, you know, bigger and better. It's just, it's just crazy. You know what I'm saying? One thing I can say about the iPhone 5 and the 5S, look, I just sold my iPhone 5 last night. So picking up the iPhone 5S from using the 5 last night feels almost exactly the same. You know, that's the point I'm a little bit disappointed. You would think that with the 5S, it's going to be a lot faster, a lot smoother. You know, everything is just going to be bigger and better and beefed up. But it's pretty much like picking up the same exact phone, but, you know, the gold joint with the fingerprint scanner now I didn't talk about the camera we'll get into that in the real review but the camera is definitely sick on this with the slow motion feature and all that we'll get into that in the real review but the camera on this is a definite win definite but like I'm saying when you pick this phone up if you had an iPhone 5 and you pick this up don't expect to be blown away like oh this you know you're gonna have fun with the fingerprint scan and all that but basically it's gonna be like using the same phone you was just using when you was using your iPhone 5 no real difference. You know what I'm saying? It's a little bit faster, you know, little tweaks here and there, but don't expect to be blown away like my dudes who had a Note 2, and then you got your Note 3, and you was like, wow. Don't expect to have that, you know, jaw-dropping wow factor. Don't expect that. But it's a nice upgrade. Now, people are going to ask, look, if I got an iPhone 5, do I need to sell it real quick so I could go get the 5S? Look, you know, I ain't going to tell you how to spend your money, you know what I'm saying, but... Look, y'all already know, if you want to be a boss, if you want to be on top of the food chain, of course you got to sell it and you got to get the new one. You got to, you know, you got to stay with the times. Now, look, like I said, do you. Shout out to my brother. He don't care. Like, you know, he's still rocking an iPhone 4S. He don't care. Like, if you don't really care about phones and, you know, you don't care about gadgets and all that, then, you know, do whatever you got to do. But all of my tech heads who's heavy in the game, and y'all know who I'm talking to. I'm following y'all on Instagram. I see how y'all move out. If you want to be a boss, you want to stay on top of the game, you know what I'm saying, then, of course, you got to get this one. You got to get the 5S because it's the top of the line. Top of the line from Apple. Now, if you got a 5, like I said, you know, don't don't sell it for some crackhead price just so you can get this. Like, I sold my 5 last night for um, 600 You know what I'm saying? It was a 64 gig joint. So, you know, don't if you got an iPhone 5, don't sell it for $150, you know, like a crackhead just so you could get this one. No, it's not worth it. But if you, go, if you find somebody, you know, to buy it for a decent price, then yeah, it's definitely worth the upgrade. And especially if you got the gold joint. Because keep in mind, this one only comes in three colors now. It comes in that grayish, you know, they, they don't call it black no more. It's that, that gray slate color. You got white and you got gold. So I went with gold because it's kind of like the exclusive color, you know what I'm saying? It's like the one that's, you know, everybody want. So I got my gold speaking case right here. We're going to drop on and rock out for the rest of the day. Look, I'm going to rock this phone now. I'm going to try to use it as my main phone. It's going to be hard. <laughs> it's going to be real hard because I got the HTC One Max. I got the Note 3, 
I got the S4, I got the HTC One, I got all these other phones on deck. So I'm gonna try to use this as my main phone so when I do the real review next week, I can give y'all my honest opinion. So right now, any, anybody who's hitting me up, I'm gonna be using my iPhone. All right, so expect to see all them iMessages messages coming through. All right, this is probably gonna be the most Apple, you know, Apple usage I've been doing in a minute. So I'm gonna use this for the full week so I can give y'all my honest, unbiased opinion when I do this real review next week. All right, shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. I know I gotta step up my my Voxer game. I don't be hitting cats back too much, but you know I gotta I gotta I gotta get back in the Voxer game and all that. Whatever. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on BBM. You know, I tried to get down with the BBM, but um, I don't know. I, I think I gave up on BBM. I, I just can't flow with it. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. I, I can't get into it. But special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at. Full time, 100%. Full throttle. Now look, I want to follow everybody back on Instagram, but I can't because they only let you follow 7,500 people. And I'm following 7,500 people. But like I said in my video last night, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start going down the list. And people that don't really interact with me too much on Instagram, I'm going to have to unfollow so I can start following, you know, cats that really be hitting me up and, you know, really want to get into it. All right? It's your boy Floss. I'm going to catch up with y'all on the next trip. We got a whole bunch of videos coming out this week. I'm going to do the uh, HTC One Max. We're going to get into that probably tomorrow. I got a whole bunch of Note 3 cases. I'm going to do a couple of them right now before I get out of here. A couple of Note 3 cases. And, um, you know, we just want to keep it moving. All right? It's your boy, Floss. <sighs> here we go again. <laughs> Look, all y'all haters, all y'all trolls, go eat a fucking dick. It's your boy, Floss. I'm out. Deuces.